Does anyone remember the old Telltale Batman game? Well, it starts off with a bunch of criminals breaking into City Hall. Police are called, but as per usual, they make no impact on the crime being committed. That's where I come in. Today I'm Batcam. And through the amazing choice-based game that is Telltale's entire company, I'm going to get to act just like Batman, which means I get to drag people down elevator shafts, gas a bunch of criminals, and then emerge from the darkness like The Undertaker. So after going over the top and absolutely brutalizing these people, I bump into the Catwoman. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? As per usual, there just isn't a Batman game without Catwoman. Weirdly, like, there isn't a Spider-Man game without Black Cat. But today we're about DC. Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. So, after being absolutely humiliated by Catwoman calling me out for not being a badass and for doing it for the attention of the people, I ended up just scrapping her and beating her up because she hurt my feelings. Unless there was a storyline somewhere that I failed to grasp. But thanks to my grappling hook, that will never happen again. Then a group of five people bust through the door to watch me. Now don't get it wrong, five people is a good turnout for DC. So in the fight with Catwoman, I managed to retrieve the hard drive that she stole. Then I was randomly shot by a police officer. I mean, even Catwoman was shocked. The fuck was that about? My only choice was then to tase her to stop her in her tracks, and I remembered that cats can't fly, so I had to jump down to catch her. But I managed to do it, and now once again I'm shipping Batman and Catwoman. Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. <laughs> Don't struggle or you'll fall. No, but that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. Bye, Bat. I then return back to Wayne Manor where it turns out I'm funding the Dent campaign. Me and Harvey Dent are planning to put him in office so he can finally stop crime in Gotham. Fashionable and fashionably late as always. Say hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Turns out the support wasn't so unwavering. In fact, the support was pretty much non-existent. I then spent the rest of the party going around introducing Harvey Dent to guests and trying to get support for his campaign. Nobody knew him and the people that did didn't really like him. And it's not a good party until it's crashed by a reporter. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. Actually, I do mind. If you're not on the list, you're not here. Sorry. <sighs> we'll talk tomorrow, then. Another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Now the weird thing is with any other game, I would instantly want to befriend this person. But considering the way he introduced himself to me, he's made an enemy for life. Fuck you, Falcone. We went away in a back room to have a more private discussion and um, I had to babysit Harvey Dent and tell him he can come into the room as long as he behaves. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Only every single thing he'd done and said afterwards didn't make me feel very respected. He insulted my friends, my family, my campaign, and he made me chalk his cue. Now that's not code, and it's not sexual. But at the moment it just seemed like a battle of the egos. It wasn't going to happen. I threw it back. And Falco noticed that. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. 
One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. The money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Now, one thing about insulting Bruce Wayne is you then have to fuck with the Batman. I instantly went down to the Batcave and started searching up Falcone. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I had everything under control. That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. Alfred then surprises me by telling me that a friend has come to town and he wants to speak to me. Now this friend's name is Oswald Cobblepot. Letting that sink in. Now Oswald Cobblepot was a rich billionaire, just like Bruce Wayne. They grew up together, they were best friends. But his family died and he's now poor, out on the streets and turned to a life of petty crime. The most recent crime being choosing the dodgiest, shadiest place to meet your old friend. I mean, I tried to bump a ciggy off this guy and he tried to kill me. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard it, man. Go ahead. Try and take it. The hell do you say? End him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh, the moment! Come here! Think that'll do! Stay down! This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. This is my park! Mine! You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey Bruce, you've got a little, uh... Yeah, good as new. Woo, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Oh, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shaked. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. Are you threatening me, Oz? Take it as you like. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, Make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. At this point, it really felt like every single person in Gotham was against me. The only person as wealthy as me now wants to kill me. I then had the bright idea to destroy Arkham Asylum and replace it with a mental health hospital. Therefore, I will be a good person and everyone will love me. But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? So, safe to say that backfired, and people most certainly do not love me. 
I also got loads of texts and calls throughout the conference telling me that the police were raiding my home. I rushed home to find Commissioner Gordon and, yep, they were just taking what they wanted. This game's really realistic. Whilst having a mental breakdown about the entire issue, the reporter returns and it kind of makes me think you'd expect Batman to have higher security. She's just waltzed in here twice now. How is she doing this? Who are you? Are you Catwoman? Anyway, she offers to help me so I give a quote saying that everything is a lie and that I'm the greatest person ever. I then go out to meet Harvey Dent to speak more about his campaign. Whilst we're out, he meets up with a woman. A woman with a distinctive black eye. Using the powers of deduction, we deduce that each other is Batman and Catwoman. Harvey dips to um, take a work call and me and Selina can actually start having a conversation about where to get the best leather outfits. Honestly, we both dress really weird. She does give me the drop off point of the hard drive that I stole off of her, so now I can go see who her client is. But if it's a mystery hard drive that suddenly got deleted, I'm thinking it could be Hillary Clinton. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you going to stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. So I go to the drop-off point and I see nothing but corpses and dead bodies everywhere. Wait, are corpses, corpses and dead bodies are the same thing. I see the deceased humanoids at every location. That's what I meant to say. I managed to recreate the crime scene and I kind of figured out what was going on. But better than that, I found one guy still alive and I couldn't have that. I then get to use Batman's enhanced interrogation techniques. Time to live up to my reputation. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. Tell me. Falcone wanted him. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Oh, please, no, no. Oh, God, no! I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcony said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here! You're gonna need to call the coroner instead. So it turns out, surprise surprise, this was all Falcone, and I've now made it my mission to take this guy down, any way possible, Bruce Wayne or Batman, one of us will take him down. Returning to the Batcave, I get a nice little pep talk from Alfred. This game makes you feel really isolated, it's like every single person is against you, which really does enhance the relationship between Bruce and Alfred. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. So I managed to decrypt the hard drive and I get all Falcone's secret information. I then get a choice to hand it into the GCPD or Vicky Vale. Basically police or media. This, this is big. You drop a bomb like this, there's gonna be fallout. That not even Falcone can survive. Why give it to me then? You don't know how much I appreciate it, but you're Wayne. You could have given it to anyone. I need an ally in the press. After handing me something like this, I'd say you got one for life. This evidence should be enough to take down Falcone, but just in case it's not, I have my plan B. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. With the media about to expose him, the GCPD about to arrest him, there's one more thing I plan to do, and it involves the Batmobile. Have you formulated your plan of attack? I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party.
gets off of my suit! I... you know... Ah, 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 ah. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid! Explosives armed! Fire when ready! You've lost, Falcone. I can go a few more rounds. The killers. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The White Rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? Yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it ain't a dead bath. With that. Gotham's watching now! <laughs> Go ahead! Give him a show! I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning! <laughs> Gotham! Whoa, whoa, wait! What the hell are you? Spill it, Falcone! While you still can! It's... <clears throat> the Waynes... They're behind all this! What do you mean? You really... you really want to take down crime? Well, the Waynes uh, are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. Oh my god! Take him out! could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was brutally wounded in the attack. Oh! Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years, but after this dramatic arrest and a stunning expose by Gazette reporter Vicky Vale, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham, that this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, This story about my family is exactly that, a story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The monster Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes time in the sun is ending. The suit, the car, this entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Oh, 